Before we get started with moving my desk setup, the desk situation, I need caffeine. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel, Halloween Happy, where Halloween is more than just once a year. It is now September. Happy September, everyone. I cannot believe that it's finally here. It's gonna go by so fast, so I hope that you guys all enjoy the month of September, the month of October. Like, it's our time. Take it in. I hope it's everything that you want it to be. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably have seen me rearrange my desk setup multiple, multiple times. I've done a few vlogs here on my channel, just trying to find the perfect desk setup. I would also like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, and that is FlexiSpot. I'm gonna do like a little unboxing. The desk that I'll be showing is the FlexiSpot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7. This desk is adjustable, so you can adjust the height, you can move it up, you can move it down from sitting to standing. I also love it because it has a USB port, which is perfect. Having that USB port for my phone is, it's just, it's amazing. Also has a child safety lock, so in case you have kids, you don't have to worry about them pressing it, messing up your desk situation. If you guys are looking for a desk, a new desk setup, I highly recommend Flexi spot. I'm so happy with mine and I've had it for a few weeks, so I've been able to actually really use it. If you guys want to get your own Flexi Spot Pro Plus Standing E7, I will link a referral link in the description below. You will get $30 off of your purchase. You can use code Halloween Happy and you can be on your way to making your desk set comfortable and work for you. Here are my thoughts with my desk setup. I know I'm always moving my desk around, but I like having a desk area. So recently I've been using just one of my desks. I'm gonna be swapping the old desk with the new desk. I'm excited because it's bigger. If you've been on my channel, you know that I, well, you might not know, but usually I like two desks. I like doing like the L shape because I like having my workspace where I'm actually working like on my laptop or my computer and then the other space just putting everything over there if i'm working on it I tried to have it in the window area and it just was not working it was working out but with my couch being behind it just felt a little too claustrophobic i work from home i'm always sitting down it's not that great it's not that great for my health right now i got a little treadmill i gotta tell you i'm excited about putting that treadmill underneath my desk and being able just to stand up stretch my body and not just have to sit down so much because sitting down i do feel constricted last time i moved my desk setup this is what it's looking like i preferred the window setup this is okay i'm just not crazy about the little cubes over there right now kind of hard to get under there and whatnot and also the level of the desk i can't put my cart in but i can't raise the desk because it cuts off the cubes with how big the desk is i know it's gonna take up this whole space from this bookcase right here all the way to those cubes. So what I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna move this back into that corner and then the new Flexi Spot E7 desk is going here. Since it is a standing desk, I know it depends how high the desk is going to be when I'm standing because I don't want it to hit this, obviously. This wall, I think I'm going to do, I don't know really what I'm gonna do, guys. A little before and after. I need to get my life right, guys. I need help. Look at all this stuff. the pieces out of the box. Raven is being so, so helpful. That's the tabletop over there. Instructions here. And again, if you guys are curious, I have the E7. I can put stuff together like this is fine, but my brain just cannot. My brain has a hard time 
taking information that's on paper. I think it's better if someone just tells me. So I'm gonna start putting this together. Raven, you're gonna have to move though. I'm so sorry. Here's a little update on the desk situation. I'm just trying to decide if I want it. There's Raven, she's saying hello. I can't decide if I wanna keep it on this wall where it's at currently, or if I wanna put it back on this wall right here. I haven't decided because like I mentioned earlier, I'll be using the desk probably standing up the majority of the time. Just wanna make sure that, I don't know, I'm not covering anything important on the wall. Like that doesn't really have any kind of effect. I also like it here because I like having my vision board like directly where my computer screen is at. But the only thing is, I don't know what to do with this little cube set thing. I'm gonna try to move this desk over here again, swap out the cubes over here, see how they look, because eventually I wanna get some drawers that are kind of like this, but they're the longer, wider ones that sit lower. I wanna get like a few of those whenever I'm able to. I don't wanna rely on where the desk ends up being based on these. It's like nice to stand up, it just feels more relaxed honestly and i also like it because when i go to craft i like standing up or sometimes i also like sitting on a stool where my desk is a little bit higher which is why i've hung on to my old desk for so long because they are adjustable but you have to get on your hands and knees every time and you have to like i have to prop the desk on my shoulder always a pain so i cannot believe that this Flexi spot sponsorship came into my life and I just thought it fit perfectly. It has like the memory where you can do two settings and go back to the standing and sitting and then I love it because it has the USB so I can put my phone charger, plug that in there. They have a few different options where you can get different tabletops. You can do like a bamboo. I think they have gray. I think they have black. You can also decide the color that you want your stand to be. They have all sorts of accessories that you can order with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I like how spacious it is. I feel like this is like a good wall over here, you know? Okay, so switch the desk on this wall. I don't know, there's something about it I'm just not digging. I was trying to see if these would fit back there against that wall again, but they don't. I hung up these shelves when I first when we first moved in and I kind of regret hanging them up, but I know I can move them, but it's just, I feel like it's too much work. There'll be like the holes and whatnot, but this little shelf, this is like the cutoff. Like this little shelf right here is the cutoff for like the desk space here. I might just let it sit there for a while, like maybe a day or so and see how I like it. Hey guys, so it's been a little bit since I last vlogged about my Flexi Spot desk. So far I've kept it in the corner where I last left off with everything. I am happy with it so far. I really like it. I've already seen like how you can adjust it. You can also set. So I did one first sit, which is like this and it it's like the perfect height when I have my desk chair. I can also do one for standing. And I've honestly been using both. Like in the mornings, I start with it standing. I also really liked stand the standing because I don't know, when I edit, it's hard for me to focus. So if I can like move around while I'm editing it, editing a video or like a podcast episode or something, just sitting down like... It kind of drives me nuts. So far, I think I'm gonna leave it against this wall. It's kind of dark in here. So I went ahead and moved 
the cubes over here for now. I'll probably eventually change this up, but I was just putting this, I just put this all here just while I was trying to get my desk situated. I don't have to worry about any of like the photos getting covered up behind if I were to hang up some Halloween wall decor. We have my printer down here, still playing with some trinkets. This is my normal planner, I have a few notebooks here. This is like important paperwork, like bills, maybe some contracts and whatnot. And then I have more little notebooks here. Then this one down here is my therapy notebook because I don't know if you guys know, I started therapy. That's been, that's been something. So <laughs> down here I have, this is my YouTube binder, which I haven't really used recently because I've just been, I don't know, kind of busy doing all of my YouTube and like my Patreon and stuff like that. So I need to get into the habit of using that again. And here is my Halloween happy planner. And then this little binder is just like specifically for videos that go onto my channel. This is just a little mug that broke a while ago. So I've been using that as just a little thing to collect the odds and ends. Here's one of my favorite signs. I think I got this from Gordman's. There's not one out here in Massachusetts. There was back in Kansas. Some more odds and ends. Just have like some Halloween washi tape. I have some paint markers, some gel pens over there. I want to get like some baskets or something. I don't know. Normally this stuff is just hidden by my desk to where you can't really see it. Some old Halloween happy planners that I've made throughout the years that I personally use. This is like my microphone and headphones. And then down below is just a lot of like camera equipment, like just old cords and stuff that I need to go through. I can't wait to go through this whole unit. This is like all of my Halloween craft supplies. Well, most of them anyway but i can't wait to go through that and just organize it because it's honestly pretty cluttered and messy like see look at all this it's just there's a lot you know so i just kind of need to go back through it and organize it as we get deeper down here the drawers get out of control I definitely am looking forward to organizing all of this. Still have my bulletin board, a few more little chalkboard markers. I don't really know where I got it from. I can't remember, but also this candle, it smells amazing. I have not burned it yet. I talked about the room spray in one of my older vlogs. And it smells so good. It's like intoxicating. Midnight Amber from Witch City Wicks, which is a local candle shop here in Salem. My wax burner here. I got this a long time ago from Dylan's, which is can be known as Kroger some places. And some Halloween happy artwork that someone was so kind to make me. I have a little mirror. I usually like to do my makeup at my desk and just kind of like enjoy my coffee catch up on any youtube videos or anything like that and i got this from amazon and it's nice because it has a ring light to it as you can see it has like a natural setting and then it goes into warm and then cool and whatnot and then it just charges into your computer forgive my computer right here because i'm trying to I don't know, just having issues honestly. I'm trying to figure every, I'm trying to make things work without getting new things. I have my water jug. This is new-ish. I got this from Amazon. Some little bath and body products over here. You guys have already seen this in a haul. Pumpkin carving diamond shimmer mist. And then my favorite, sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And then in this little pumpkin basket, I have some hand sanitizer. This came from Bath & Body last season. I have my AirPod holder. This is from Amazon as well. Some chapstick, some more hand sanitizer. Also have this pumpkin spice and vanilla chai lotion. I also have this little Yankee Candle car jar. This is in its harvest, but they call it Autumn Splendor. It's one of their softer fragrances, but it's so good. It's like cinnamon, clove. I kept this by my desk because I like smelling it and it just puts me in a good mood. I got this from a thrift store, or actually I got this from Bath & Body a long time ago. It was on clearance. This crystal, if any of you guys know what type of crystal this is, because I need to... I need to look it up and I just haven't, but it's supposed to bring creativity to you. And Joe's mom got this for me, I think for Christmas. 
it's so beautiful it's like super heavy and she knew that i was having a hard time with like not a hard time with halloween happy but she knew i was like overwhelmed and i was just needing like a little breakthrough a little create a creative encouraging thing so she was so nice and got this for me these little cards i think i got these from hobby lobby they're just little kindness cards and it has like different little postcards and i just like to send these to my friends and i'll just write little notes on them just as like a little hey thinking of you hoping things are well happy halloween yeah i got this from a thrift store a long time ago it's really really cute a little stress ball do you guys remember when target had these candles this is just a small little one it was like three dollars like six seven years ago apple pumpkin smell someone had sent these to me they sent me two and then you guys have seen my little pumpkin ceramic guy here he's so adorable he's like a little paper sack like you know when you use a paper sack as a lantern that's what that reminds me of a little tombstone that was also from target a long time ago and this little paper mache jack-o-lantern when i worked at the vet clinic back in kansas when i like first started there was a one of my old co-workers had given this to me i need to get some more things to organize this cart i got the cart from either target or michael's i think some notepads planner stickers i feel like you guys have seen this drawer kind of need to go through it planner stickers so it says don't forget this is a halloween one and then i have these little ghost sheets talked about these before in my planner layout video i need to go through and put all of the stickers like the planner stickers i feel like butter super cute and you can just organize your stickers simply gilded why do i always call it simply guided I'll probably get to organizing once halloween is done kept everything the same up here on the shelves eventually i do want to kind of rearrange the stuff just ended up there just because there's no other space for it right now that's what the desk looks like as you can see i'll link everything down below and give you guys more information at the outro of this video shout out to flexi spot for partnering with me on this video so that's gonna wrap it up for this video i hope you enjoyed seeing my desk setup i will put a link in the description below thank you again so much to flexi spot for sponsoring today's video it means so much to me if you guys want to get to know me a little bit more you can follow me on instagram don't forget i'm currently hosting my 100 days of halloween happy and if you want to support this channel you can check out my patreon that link is listed down below as well thank you so much for watching i love you i hope this video finds you having a halloween happy kind of day and i will see you guys next time bye